just before we hey guys just before we go too much further <clears throat> there's a number of differences uh, a large number of differences between the uh, genuine uh, or the the traditional Voron um, manual and the Magic Phoenix MPX um, kit with the CAN bus system and the the uh, tap system. <clears throat> so uh, in my case, I've upgraded to the um, CNC tap, the Chaotic Labs one. So um, yeah, so there's there's differences there. Um, and there's also a lot of differences because we're using a CAN bus system. We're doing away with about 20 wires um, running from the print head back to the um, main board. So the, the one another big difference is you don't have you only have one of these chains rather than three. So um, I believe this one goes. So I'll go through some of the changes that I've picked up, which aren't really. They're, they're kind of documented but it's not kind of like don't uh, just ignore this page and it's kind of like very difficult to follow so once you've come across it you'll um so i'll just explain what i've found so far so on page 110 of the voron manual <clears throat> um we're not using the whole effect end stop uh i i well i'm not for the um uh, for the mpx build so uh, I'm not using the Hall effect. I'm also not using. I'm using sensorless homing uh, for my X Y, and I'm going to be using the Chaotic Labs tap for CNC tap for um, for my Z Z homing. Um, so so yeah. So when you get to the the part where you're going to be installing your Z joint blocks. <clears throat> um, you're not going to need the these magnets and then further on you'll see uh, I'm just going to see if I can pick them up as we go through um, uh, hang on a second yeah there's quite a few differences uh, uh, this is the next part uh, when you start doing the X carriage, um, none of these parts here on the, le the these parts here aren't even printed because you've got the tap. So that replaces these parts here. These th this part these two parts here. Um, and these yeah so none of this is needed so you use this tap instead for for doing that. And. We'll carry on through the belts. I haven't even done this. I've been trying to figure out what I need and what I don't need yet. So um, the other thing I've noticed, we're not using this here, the um, the probe, because we're using the tap. <clears throat> um, there's a few differences in the in the. Um, which I'll go through on the MPX wiki wiki page. I'm just going to do that in a minute. There's a lot of differences in the in the electrical as well. Like this layout, it's nothing like this. The the layout with the MPX is way tidier, in my opinion. Um, I'll just jump to the wiring guide, and I'll just bring this page over to you. give me a second so that's the Voron one and in comparison this is the MPX one so it's way different all your wiring's tidily tucked away um, inside these uh, DIN rail trays um, so so everything's once it's all installed oh, we'll just go quickly cruise up to the installed one where it's not oh, there it is um so everything is built in into the hidden into these uh 
runs. So, um, so the other thing there's so there's quite a number of things. Um, the 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 um, clip the DIN clips for clipping in the power supply are different because the power supplies run uh, in a di on a different uh, orientation. So there's quite a few things that are different. Um, there's no need to do a ZN stop. None of this stuff's needed on page 158. Uh, you don't even really need to use the um, XY limit switch. But one of the guys was telling me that you do need to use it if you're, because you want to know what your um, chamber temperature is at. And it's on the same board, I believe. Um, so there's a lot of things uh, that are different. Um, so like for this XY end stop, for example, we'll jump onto the um, wiki page. Uh, so we'll go to the local guide. So there's this, it goes through quite a bit of it. So on the, on the A drive, where you normally have... Um, I'll show you. We normally have this here. That clip there. That's that's for the chain. You don't have that at all. Uh, so instead, you have this part here. So this is this is the A drive here. So you have this little part here that has the clip on it. And then that holds the gland, which has a stainless steel uh, wire that runs through that loom, and that's the well, that's the CAN bus. That's all the cables that come from the printhead. That four cables and that wire to basically give it some structure, and it all comes back to that gland, and the gland bolts up into there. Yeah, so. So there's a quite a few things that are different. Even here, the tool head's got on the um, on the stealth is different. Um, uh, afterburner, the stealth after afterburner, um, are different. These parts are different as well. So this one here holds the, the other end of the stainless steel wire um, for the structure. Basically, it's just basically a cable structure. So you can run cable ties, and then there's clips that you can, um, little clips that you can print, or you can just use cable ties, whichever you wish, or zip ties, whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, so there's a so there's a list. There is a list in the print guide, um, which tells you um, all the STLs are in this file here. Um, electronics bay completely skip the official electronics bay folder and print all of these parts here bang 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 same with the, oh, the exhaust filter gantry skip these parts out of the original so skip all of these parts here that are not needed in the original um, print file <coughs> um, yeah, so there is a lot of differences, a lot of differences. So you've just got to be a little bit careful um, and you kind of feel like you're going backwards and forwards a little bit trying to figure it out because it's not well, it's not, there's nothing put into a document that says um, on page 110 um, in the stealth manual, uh, we d d do not bother with the five, uh, M5 by 16 BHCS or that bracket because we're not using those, uh, etc, etc. So, so, but anyway, all in all, it's, uh, it is a really good kit. Um, like here's, here's, here's the gland packing here for the, um, that's for, the, for running the CAN bus cable and the support stainless steel line. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with it so far. The only thing I would have done um, 
to the only thing I would have changed I think or upgraded is I would have probably gone for the stainless steel uh, well two things stainless steel um, rails uh, linear rails and also the I would have gone for the uh, gates genuine gates idlers and pulleys um, because the they're just uh, way better quality the, the these are okay um, they're just you can just see nicks and stuff on the little nicks and blemishes and and things on the teeth of the gears and the idlers and the idlers sound a bit tinny when you spin them so but whether that's going to affect performance I doubt it um, but yeah so that's that's just a couple of updates that you need to be very very aware of and careful of before you start rushing it especially when you get up into the part where you're putting the gantry together um, and your Z blocks and from that page onwards pretty much so around about a hundred on um, electrical department you need to go back into the wiki page and follow their electrical um, where is it so go to the um, see the, they've got the umbilical guide step by step it's got the these parts here um, it's got the wiring guide gives you the wiring guide and it also gives you the CBT firmware for doing the um, the uh, and there's and, and you then you've got to go when you when you get to the stage of when you're putting your Z uh, your um, your extruder on um, you've got to go to the chaotic labs website to grab the PDF there for the for setup of the um, CNC tap and all that sort of stuff so there's a lot of kind of ducking and diving but I think it's going to be worth it in the end yeah so anyway so that's all I've got at the moment but all the information here is NPX wiki um, so it comes up to the main web page and then you can just you can go in here to have a look at the build, bill of materials or you can go to boron and we've got the RB2 CBT so that's just CAN, bu can, bu can bus tap kit um, so it comes out with um, yeah it, it, it comes with everything you need apart from the printed functional pr printed parts which I've just got mine directly from the um, boron printed forward um, community which is very very good so yeah okay so I'm going to put this as a separate video I think because there's a lot to go through and um and it just needs to be separated on its own. Again, thanks for tuning in. Westy over and out.